Okay, now, you know, see, like I say, I, I get upset, right, with people who have been talking to me for 15 years. I get upset with them. Because I'm saying, if I've been telling you something for 15 years, how can you blame me for the 15 years you ain't do what I asked you to do, right? So, if I got five lots, right, what else can I do from the victim perspective? If you need money, right, then what can I do, right? I'm trying to show you how we who work get money. You, If you go on these people's job, you got to work two weeks so you get paid. That means you got to make them the money they paying you. But now you want me to come through on our emancipation and say that the land that I came out of court with ain't got value. But you the one looking for work. So you got the ability, but if they don't hire you, you can't get paid. But now you want the black man who broke and went through court, these people done took everything from him, then his friends done told him about Jesus and all Jesus done went through and all this him, right? And this man done went and, 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 and without his wife, without his children, went and got five more lots. Then he's showing you that, hey, man, while you were sitting here talking about me and telling me about how great Jesus is, these people had stolen my property, right? So while you were sitting up here, I had to prove that what you believed was a lie by showing you how to do it again. Then they say, well, do it again, man. Do it again. I say I did it again. I got five more lots. Well, man, what you going to do with the five lots? Oh, see, this is what I'm saying. It's like walking in an exodus with slaves. How can you, if they sitting here, well, you got to pay me, man. You got to pay me. Well, how can I, who a slave, pay you to help you? Right? You got to pay your lawyer for what, for the defense that I gave you out of love, man. You owe the lawyer who, who didn't even defend you because he didn't change your life. So even if he won the case and you had to go back into the criminal mind that you had before, how was you saved? Because you're going to need that lawyer again for the same reason. Because you're doing the same thing. You see what I'm saying? But here I am. I'm your lawyer, right? And I'm saying, hey, now, why would you do the same thing that made you need me as your lawyer, why would you do it again? And then what I'm saying is, why would the poor people who know about my journey, why you won't invest your time like I invested my time? How we gonna generate life if we need money? That's why y'all still in my life, man. That's what I'm trying to tell these kids. That's what I'm trying to tell my daughter. That's what I'm trying to tell my son. I'm saying, see, the difference between me and them is I was showing you how to become a better you, and then I rewarded you monetarily, my daughter, right, for what she did on her develop development mentally. See, because she is my economy. She is my investment. That's what, okay, even if they gave me a retirement, well, if I didn't invest that money in my daughter or my son, well, how can they help us? They gonna need the money to pay somebody rent. Now, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna teach my children how to be me, right? So they can take care of the business and the responsibility of being them. Right, so I'm showing them how to reward themselves after they work. But my son, he put nothing in. So that means I had to instill more time into him getting out of that frame of mind that somebody gonna do something for him. So now I had to give up my dream, which was my Corvette, 
so I could come home to be a father so I can get my son in the right frame of mind to inherit the blessing which is him. See, that's what I'm trying to do for y'all. I'm saying, well, how can I not change the minds of a whole bunch of damn people? I don't know y'all and y'all don't know me. And you know Jesus, that's your father. You know the prophet Muhammad, that's your father. Well, how the hell I can change your mind on that? But now, nah, if I go get the Bible, now I'm putting your father on you. How? I'm putting your father on the false prophet that got you thinking the way you thinking. So I'm saying, well, hey, man, if you thinking deadly, how you then following Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee? And if you thinking deadly, then don't you see somebody created Jesus Christ? Because look how you thinking. The truth done got you mad. How did it set you free from anger? It's like you like Jesus when he was in the temple, but Jesus said that his body is the temple and they said that you're not supposed to be against flesh and bone. You're supposed to be against the principality, but now you standing with the principality of religion. After I defeated the principality of Rome, the descendants of Rome is the United States of America, right? So that means the descendants of religion is led by the high priest Caiaphas and the descendants of the truth is led by Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee, right? So it's really led by Moses because Moses is the first person that heard that God told, or that the Lord told about the cries of his people for whom at that time was the Israelites. And then the Israelites, according to history, when God delivered them in, in the name of Moses, right? They then did what they did in the name of Joshua, just like now that I, for whom is my God, had to deliver myself from the vices of my devil, decided to free you all like Moses freed the Israelites. Right, but I'm saying if we are all human, why would I not say the human race from a spiritual enemy that forced me into the spiritual war that John wrote about in exile when he was in exile? Like I'm in exile for for fulfilling Revelation. So why would y'all then now call yourselves reverends and you know that you descendants of slaves? So that means that anybody that's a descendant of Moses is a descendant of slaves. So if the Israelites is now enslaved, they can't come to court against me. Well, how could you come to court against Moses and not be a, a crime? You done came against the person that freed you, man. So that's what I'm saying about slavery. How do you know who Moses is when you're looking for Jesus? and you committing the same atrocities that the Israelites committed when they went around Jericho, the walls of Jericho. Now, but how can you then make the truth fall like the walls of Jericho fell? The walls of Jericho were made by the hands of man. The truth is made by divine wisdom. How can you make it fall?